Good morning, Calvary. Today we're talking about Genesis 25, verses 19 through 28. Here's something I noticed, or I learned about the Bible as I was in school and wherever else. It doesn't always give descriptions of the biblical characters that it talks about. But when it does, especially in the Old Testament, it's worth paying attention to. The author is usually trying to point something out about the character and the calling of these particular people. And in this case, in Genesis 25, we're introduced to two characters, Esau and Jacob. They're non-identical twins, and as they're wrestling and moving in their mother's womb, we learn that God shares his plan for each of these babies with their mother. Both of them are going to be the start of great nations. The first nation to come of Esau was the Edomites, and Jacob was the start of Israel. Now here's where the descriptors come in. As both of these babies were born, Esau was born with a bright red skin and hair all over his body like an animal. And Jacob was born more or less normal, but came out grasping the heel of his brother. Both of their descriptions are indicators on what kind of people they're going to be when they grow up. Esau grows up to be a great hunter. He's brash and seemingly has an impatient temper. But Jacob is sly. He grows up to basically be a con man. And now as I read this story, right off the bat, I would have thought that Esau would have been favored in God's sight. But we learn that's not the case. We learn that God's promise and plan for their life trumps any sort of characteristics or shortcomings they may have. And on the flip side, it also trumps any sort of good characteristics or good works that they may do. That's not saying God doesn't favor the faithful, those who use their skills for God's kingdom, but what it does say is that God tends to choose people who no one else expects in order to accomplish his goals here on earth. So out of the twins, God uses the sly, shady, cunning Jacob in order to really kickstart his favored nation of Israel. Jacob did nothing to stand out to be righteous or to earn this role in Israel's history. Although he apologized for his sly actions at a later time, his beginning was shady at best. But from the shady beginnings to the start of God's nation, God made a plan for his life to be great and to be better than what he currently was. Here's the takeaway. God knows where you're at in life. God knows that not everything may be going your way right now. God knows you may be stuck in sin or other, and it's in these moments and even before this that God wants to remind you that he has a great plan for your life. He wants us to be your hope and your encouragement to get you out of whatever low place you might be in. This is why God sent Jesus to die on the cross for you, because he sees the potential in you that you or even others around you might not see. So I want to encourage you to read the passage in Genesis 25, verses 19 through 28, and reflect on how God picks people who are simple, normal, sometimes unfaithful, sly, sinful, and he transforms them in their life to be meaningful and effective. Jacob is proof of that. So be blessed, Calvary.